Inside, inside. What's up guys, Matty Marr from Pro Swing Report Chester. You just heard me yell inside, inside. That's because we're doing a tip of the week and we're doing bunts today. That's something you may hear when a bunts lay down and you want to throw a guy out at first. You're going to hear all types of things today. You're going to hear about creating throwing lanes. You're going to hear about rounding the ball, scooping the ball, our transfer, our throw. A lot to get to today. It's a tip of the week. It's bunts. Let's get right into it. We're going to work on three kind of bunts today. Bunts down the first base side, right down the middle, and then bunts down the third base side. All right, so check this out. This is the first base bunt cam. Let's work on bunts to first base, okay? So here we are. We're going to talk about that bunt that hugs the first baseline, okay? So as a catcher, we're talking about that bunt, the one that's hugging the line, okay? Now as we come up, we want to round it, okay? What we do, and we want to show this in slow motion, we want each foot on both sides of the ball with a good balanced position, okay? We don't want to be on top of the ball and we don't want to bend at our waist, okay? We're here. Now we don't come with one hand because our head can come up. We scoop. Now as we scoop on this first base bunt, we want to step behind here. Why? Why do we want to step behind? I'll tell you. We need to create a throwing lane. If I throw from right here, I'm going to hit that run right in the back of the head. So I scoop, I come behind, and what do I do? I yell, inside, inside, because I'm the catcher. And the catcher can see everything that's going on in the field. The only person. That's why you're inside, inside, outside, outside. You are the captain. So on that bunt, hugging the first base line, we round it, we scoop it, we're athletic, we step behind to create a throwing lane, we yell inside, and we make our throw. Bunt cam number two. OK, second bunt cam here. Now we're just dealing with a regular bunt. It's coming out here. Same concept. We're going to come around and round, okay? Foot on each side. Good balance position. Scoop. I can do my regular footwork and make my throw. I don't have to step behind because I already have a throwing lane, but still communicate inside, inside. Third base bunt cam. Okay, now this bunt's a little bit different because we're not rounding in foul territory here. Here's how third base works. The bunt comes. We want to round in fair territory. We're rounding in fair territory, okay? And we're gonna pivot off that back foot. We scoop, as we can see here, we scoop with two, and we throw off that back. We want to get a good throwing position to first base, okay? We have a lot of time, we can do our regular footwork. We can round, come here, scoop, and do our footwork. But if we don't have time, we got a speedy runner, there's the bunt, we come around, we round, we're right here, we scoop off the back foot, we make our throw. I really like these bunt cams, it's cool. All right, so let's recap. We talked bunts today. Let's just recap some of the things we talked about down the first baseline. We talked about rounding to the ball. We round in fair territory, right? And when we step, we step behind if it's hugging the line because we need to create a throwing lane. Remember, very important, as we scoop that ball, we use both hands. We talked about one hand may pull that head up early. Remember the mantra, if the body goes up, the ball's gonna go down. So we wanna maintain a good, balanced position. With the third baseline, we talked about rounding in fair territory, pivoting on that back foot, rocking and throwing, or if we have the time, we can do our proper footwork. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Pro Swings Tip of the Week. Tune in next week for another tip that's gonna make you a better baseball player.